Hey, welcome back. My name is Sharpshooter365-1, and we are back. It seemed like a year since I fixed something, and I've been sitting around thinking, what could I fix today? What can I do to help the general view in public? And then it, it came to me, something that happened a couple months ago. And so today, I want to show you how to fix your router. Now, as you all may know, sometimes when your Wi-Fi goes out, it's usually because of an interference or with your cable company or satellite, whatever. And usually it causes your Wi-Fi to be slow or you lose it. But what I'm going to show you here is when something happens to the router where it just can't connect to Wi-Fi, whether it's the wireless connection or the yellow wire that connects it to the computer that gives it the Wi-Fi and that's what I'm going to show you how to fix so here I got my old router that had this problem Netgear that's what I use so if you use Netgear this should be pretty easy to follow if you don't use Netgear some things might change but it should still be the same process. And here's the yellow wire I'm talking about that connects connects right here. So what you're gonna do for this is just put the wire in for now because we want an example. So the first process is to get this thing open. And I see two little screws in the back. So it would only make sense if we use a claw hammer. Sorry about that. Well that didn't work, so I guess we're just going to use not a Phillips screwdriver, but whatever the heck this thing is. It doesn't work. Maybe if we tried this flathead. Oh, silly me. This is a hexagon screwdriver. Well, I don't have any of those. Once you realize that you cannot get the router open, it's time to take evasive means. Just grab by both ends and... Oh, I got it. Here's a good way to use your flathead screwdriver. Just take it and jam it in so you get caught of something. Then push it in and then turn it like you know you're riding a motorcycle. And you're going to take your other screwdriver and jam it in the other side. Like so. I might need to put this up for a better demonstration. And then you just take both. Now this is, here's a little physics homework for you. When you have more lever arm to pull from, you have a greater torque. So I hope you enjoyed your lessons for the day. Once you finally get this top piece open by any means necessary, you're going to see that there's a lot of microchips stuff in it. Each one of these is a connector of so, so, some sort that flows the electricity. It's like a circuit board, you know? Once you get that, oh, well, looks like there's more screws, so we're going to have to try to pry this thing off ourselves, because inside the circuit board is the motherboard, and the motherboard likes to protect her children. Well, her children are in there, and what we're going to do, we're just going to take the mother out and to repair her because you may not know this but the motherboard has these little babies called 
little bites. And the little bites, you know, they just, uh, they, they give the Wi-Fi power. Well, when the motherboard is sick, he, she stops having her little babies. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the circuit board to get the motherboard out. So, and then once we get the motherboard out, we're going to replace her. You know, so we'll have better Wi-Fi connection. There seems to be something in the way here. Here we go. It's something. Nope. This thing fell off. Come on. Get out of there. Once you realize that any means necessary isn't necessarily any means working, you're going to have to resort to Alpha, Delta, Bravo, X ray, Niner, 2479. East Dodge Street, or other means necessary for short. Now that you got the whole thing out, you're not done yet. You gotta still get the motherboard out of there. Sometimes if she doesn't want to come out, you gotta talk to her, you know, like, hey motherboard, it's okay, I'm a cool guy, you know, I, I love, I love to help you out. Why don't you just, just come on out, come on, come on, you can do it, come on. Come on. And if persuasion doesn't work, you gotta use intimidation. And if intimidation doesn't work, you know, you're gonna have to go special operations. Man, nothing says banging on a hard drive, put some hair on your belly button, you know? Uh. Don't worry guys, I'm a professional. I've done this thing, I've done these things many times before. I can see it in there. Uh. You might not be able to see what I'm doing because it's not on cam. Oh. I did it. Four sovereign going. Okay. Now that we have the motherboard, we're going to have to replace her. This part I can no longer show you anymore because it's just replacing. So. But in the next episode, I'll show you how to replace it once you get a new motherboard. Where you can find them is general Walmart or some superstores like Walmart or there are little stores like, you know, Walmart. But you'll best find them in a super Walmart. So see, stay tuned for part two.